All right, 30 up on the board. Bit of Bon Jovi to amp things up here. Our front row look very keen to get on with the job here. Brumfield versus Thorne. And we are green. Oh, bit of a hip and shoulder there going into turn one. Sam Brumfield means business. Look at Reichstein. He's trying to get into the action here, but Thorne, he goes for the dive bomb in turn number three. Cops a bit of a push on the exit of the turn. Brumfield now squares it up, drives underneath him, gives him another tap going into one. He says, you might be the new Australian champion, but I don't care. I'm the SA5, I'm going to try and get it done here. He gets a little bit untidy, they punch up again. Coming off turn number four. And there they go. Around one and two, Brumfield followed by Thorne, Reichstein, then it's back to Watson. Next in the order would have to be the uh, six of Harris. He's having a pretty good night at the speedway. And he's being followed by the seven of Buchanan. So around comes our leader, the M5. My mistake, leading the way here over the uh, S42. Thorne trying to line him up for a bit of a uh, dive bomb in three. See, halfway through the corner, he just cops a bit of an understeer there from the front wheel drive. And Brumfield leads another lap. So uh, four laps complete here. Brumfield and Thorne still going at it. They've established a little bit of a buffer over Reichstein in third. Watson there in fourth. Harris fifth. And Anthony Buchanan back in sixth place. His way down through the pit turn. But 10 laps down, still 20 to go. It's Brumfield, Thorne, Reichstein, Watson, Craig Buchanan, Harris, Nicholas oh. Hill. Oh, Brumfield's gone around, made contact with the back marker. He spun. No. There even seems to be a fire. fire. Yep. Flash fire under the five. There is a fire. I think that might be the reason why. Actually, Spain's lost a, left a lot of fluid on the racetrack as well. Ignite on the exhaust pipe. There you go, he uh, spins out of harm's way already, cracking the belts there and ready to... We are ready to resume MJS tree and stump removal hostilities as Nathan Thorne gets on the gas. Reichstein nibbling away on the low line. Pretty well matching him for pace here. And they make a tiny bit of contact through that 3-4 bend. Thorne knows he's definitely got company. Phil Watson. Watto chipping away from third position. Then it's back to where uh, the seven of Craig Buchanan. He's fourth. So it's the MJS supported cars out front one and two right now in the MJS supported feature event. Then we go back to the 19. Of Phil Watson, Craig Buchanan, you know, yellow lights are on. We have a mess down there in turn number three and four. I think it was the 97 of Hill. A main for night one. And Thorne got away. Well, he made a slight understeer moment in turn number two. Well, then Reichstein wasn't able to capitalise on it. Well, staying. The same sort of positions, lap after lap here. Reichstein really sideways off of turn number two. Still just can't get by. Just can't draw up alongside. Our race leader, laps are starting to wind down. This time by to be eight to go. Oh, right, here's here's the big dive bomb into turn number one. Wow. Cop that. And uh, look at Nathan Thorne now. He, if he wasn't awake before, he certainly is now as he returns serve going through turns three and four. But look at Nifty Nige, he's got the pace here. Is he gonna keep diamonding the corner? Oh, he's gonna to have to be careful. He could end up with a, uh, a medium rare T-bone if he keeps diamonding it here. Look at Thorne, he's throwing everything at him, including the kitchen sink here. What a scrap. We've got uh, six to go. Thorne now drives underneath him. It was a big slider. Can Reichstein rebound? That is the question. Watson, he's about eight car lengths in arrears, probably sitting back in front of him. What? It may come into play with a lap to go. Reichstein's probably hoping it does right now. As they head down through the, pot, the pit turn for the final time, Reichstein threw it in hard. Couldn't get it done. 
through turn number three and four for the final time. And the Australian champion, Nathan Thorne, will win the MJS Series final.